Boy, we tend to think modern life is pretty tough, but I'll tell you, I'm here at Jamestown Settlement, which is a recreation of the first settlement in America by the English, and you would not believe what they have to go through just to survive. You can probably see the guy patching the roof behind me. But we're gonna take a look at their bread baking, which happened outside the house in a clone oven, and it's a full day process, so let's go take a look. I'm Laura Templin, and you're here at Jamestown Settlement. And here at the museum, we are making bread the way you would have done 400 years ago if you were a settler here at James Fort. And we're using a clay oven. This is a reproduction of the clay ovens made in Devon, England at the time. The archaeologists have found one just like this one, and this is one we've recreated from that, from that find. And as you can see, it's on fire. We are heating it up. You have to preheat this oven for an hour, hour and a half. Uh, with fire burning inside it and later when that dies down and it's hot enough we'll scrape the coals out, mop out the ashes and be ready to bake. So while it's preheating it's the perfect time to make your bread and I'm actually using a recipe from the time period that comes out of a cookbook that will in the future be inherited by Martha Washington. So it's a cookbook that comes down to us from this time period that will obviously be in use for at least a couple hundred years and uh, is still around today. Now I'm just mixing in some of the eggs from our chickens right now into some flour and butter. We're just getting that nice and ready. You can see how it's getting a little bit grainy and now I want to make a little nest and start adding in some of the yeast mixture that we've had bubbling over here on the side. And fed this yeast uh, and water a little bit of flour, making up what they're calling a sponge. And so I'm gonna work that in and uh, start making that up into a dough. And we're gonna then let that dough rise. Of course, we're gonna knead it, let it rise, punch it down, let it rise again. So you've got lots of time while you're heating your oven to be preparing those breads and bread is a really important part of the diet. If you're getting your rations as somebody living here at James Fort, um, the men were expecting about a pound of bread a day. So if you're assigned to bake, you're gonna spend pretty much all day baking in order to make enough bread to feed everybody that's here in the fort. Just like we do today, colonial bakers needed their dough on a floured surface. Stretching the dough develops the gluten in the bread proteins, and back then it was all done by hand. Laura cuts the dough in two and shapes each half into a loaf. She then covers them with a damp cloth to let them rise. In the meantime, we learned about life in the Jamestown settlement, and I got suited up like a soldier. Well, you know, there were 104 men in this uh, in this fort, and only two women. So I'm thinking they probably needed well, to no protect women themselves on the first trip. On the 100, first trip, 100 men, four boys, no women. No women, and then two women came along. Yes. Two women arrived in 1608, which mm -hmm. was Fort and Ann Burr. about doubled so it's nice and soft you can see that letting out that air punching that down we'll knead that again a little bit shove that around it's important when you're kneading it that you're stretching those proteins that's what you really are trying to do uh, one of the problems 400 years ago is that you don't have drawers to keep all of your equipment in, so you wear a lot of it. So uh, your common utility knife here, uh, I'm going to use that to just cut that loaf a little bit on the side so that hopefully it won't crack when we bake it. You can really see that fire going there. I'm going to mop out the inside with a rag mop and that will put out all of the coals left and it'll also clean out the ashes so the bread does not get ash on it because even back then they didn't like ash in their bread. Let's see how hot that is. Oh, I gotta get there. I'm going to give the oven one last swipe with the malkin, this little rag mop. We're going to add a little more steam in there to make a better crust. Throw the loaf in. And we're going to close the door. And let it bake. Let's 
see how we're doing. It's looking pretty good. Get that over there with the peel. And there's our loaf. Awesome. That is a beautiful loaf of bread. I can't get too close because it's obviously very hot. I can feel it radiating off here. So it means I have to wait for it to cool. Yeah. I have to wait a little bit just before we can cut into that. Such a tease, you know? Right. <laughs> but Laura, thank you so much for showing us this amazing process for baking bread. I'm so glad that we don't have to do this anymore, but <laughs> it really is fascinating and the smells over here are so beautiful. So well, great. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. We love to eat it. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Can we scrounge up some butter? <laughs> sure. Absolutely. <laughs>